Hey guys, welcome to the GHL device initial setup video. Today, we're going to show you how to set up and connect to your GHL device for the first time using the GHL Connect app. To get things started, you'll first want to have the GHL Connect app already downloaded and installed onto your phone or tablet. If you don't have the app yet, you can find it in the Android or iOS app stores by searching for GHL Connect. When you open the app for the first time, you will be greeted by the initial setup screen. Follow the steps provided by the wizard to complete the app's initial setup. After that's done, you can begin with the initial setup of your device. Press Add Device, choose your GHL device, then select Begin First Time Setup. For this step, you must now activate the hotspot of your GHL device. To do this, simply power off and on your device, then press Next. The app will now wait for your GHL device to broadcast its hotspot signal. Give the app a few seconds to complete this process. If you have an Android device, the app will automatically display the hotspot signal from your GHL device. Choose your device, then give your phone or tablet a few seconds to connect to this hotspot. If you have an iOS device, the app will tell you how to proceed. If you see this page, that means the firmware on your device's Wi-Fi chip needs updating. Press Next and the firmware update will begin. After a couple of minutes, the update will be completed. If you're using an Android device, stay on this page and wait a few seconds for the app to proceed to the next page. If you're using an iOS device, follow the steps provided in the app. The app will now display a list of nearby Wi-Fi networks. Choose your network and enter the password for it, then press Next. Here, you get to choose if you want to set up your device with an auto IP or static IP. If you are not familiar with static IP configurations, just press Next. The app will now check the information you entered. If everything was entered correctly, the app will automatically move you to the next step. Here is where you get to name your connection profile. The name you enter is how you will identify it as your home network connection profile. Press next when you're done. Choose if you would like to keep the hotspot active. Press next when you're done. If you chose to leave the hotspot active, give this hotspot a password that you are not going to forget. At the bottom of the page, Give this connection profile a name. This is how you will identify it as your hotspot connection profile. When done, press Next. The app will now apply all the network and connection profile settings you provided. When you see this page, your GHL device is connected and ready to be used. Press Done to close this page. You will now be brought back to the My Devices page. As you can see, there are now two connection profiles listed. The first connection, which we called Home, is what you can use when you are home and connected to your home Wi-Fi network. The second connection will only show if you chose to leave the hotspot active. When you're ready to connect to your device through your Wi-Fi network, choose the Home connection profile and wait for the dashboard to load. That concludes the initial setup process for GHL devices. If you would like to learn more about your specific device, we invite you to check out the knowledge base on our website. There, you will find a wealth of information and guides to help you get the most out of your GHL device. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to our channel to get updates when we release more videos. Until next time, take care.